Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, we are migrating from Shopify CLI to Shopify TeamKit. Over the past like almost 20 videos, I work with Shopify CLI. I say I like I face a lot of issues, especially when it comes to uh, bringing a changes and it is not instant. And I feel like Shopify CLI is not ready at the time of this recording. But if you are watching this video in the future, you may not like watch this video because you are already familiar with CLI and CLI would be the future. Uh, I hope Shopify do not stop working on this. It is a great tool, but it is not ready yet. So let's switch to TeamKit because TeamKit have been in the market for a long time and they fix a lot of bug in the TeamKit. Now it is like much better, especially one of the coolest feature lately they come in TeamKit is the only changes you bring uh, when you deploy, it, will, it is when you deploy, it will deploy only the changes that you have done. In the past, it used to deploy all the files. Now it is not doing that, which is great. And what else like I like about TeamKit uh, as a new feature is if you uh, save a changes in your file and there is no changes on that, it's not going to upload that. So that's also a cool feature. So let's start like uh, you might already know TeamKit from like previous videos, but if you don't know, like it is the previous tool we used to use for team development and I still use it for my legacy projects and it's a great tool. So let's start using it. Uh, first of all, you have to install it the same way as you install Shopify CLI, you will install TeamKit and everything should be fine. Then you will have access to the team in your CLI. Now I have already installed it on Mac OS. So if you're on Windows, you can use this Coco. It should be really easy to start. Now let's come to the team that we have. Okay, here's our team. All we have to do is just create a config.yaml file in here. We're going to remove a lot of things. So let's create the file. It should name con config.yaml. Inside this, we add our configuration, the password, which is store and the team ID. That's all we need to do. So let's start like creating those credentials first. This is our website. I'm going to duplicate this team for now. This is the only thing we have the down. We duplicate it and then we deploy all the changes in this team. So let's start with how we are going to do it. We need the team ID. Before doing that, if you come to the CLI and the configuration reference, they have some snippets that you can use. For example, this is development that this is what we need. So I can copy it from here or let's say this one. For now, it is the cleanest way to start. First of all, we put the password in here and then the team ID, then the store. Let's put the store first because we know what is our store name. So this should be the store name. You put it in here, team ID. This is the team which is like creating. One of the, the thing that it is taking too much time is because it has so many files. It has to go through each file, copy it and duplicate it. I have a team, a copy of down for a client, which I remove a lot of the CSS, especially on assets directory. And when I like um, duplicate it, it takes like less than a minute. But it still is too much time, but yeah. Now we get the team ID from here. This is the ID. We copy it and then we paste it in here. Lastly, let's put the password. How do you get the password? If you come to the apps in here, make sure you are admin. Uh, from here, you will go to the private apps. So clicking on the developer apps for the store in here, I think they have changed something. Now we, we can use this team dev for the private um, app. If you do, if you see something different, uh, there is an option to enable like development in here. So we click on this. This is one of the option, but the other option also exists. I'm going to show you the other option. This is also a team that I have created, I think in the past team dev, which I normally generate um, API key to talk to the store. But the other way is to go to the team store, customize your store in here. It is going to go to the team store and then you will install a team access app which Shopify provide. I don't know what was, what was the name. It was like Shopify team access code, something like that. It is an app. So if you can, yeah, it is called team kit access. So if you go to team kit access, it is by Shopify. Click add app. Since we log in from the store, it might ask you to enter your store. Since I click that button, I'm logged into this store. It's going to ask me 
for the permission yes install it using this app it is going to generate a key it is a one-time key so you have to make sure like you save it somewhere it is going to send that to your email okay now i'm going to create a password let's give it a name of team dev and i'm going to enter my email in here you can enter any email so let's just generate it now it has sent this email to password has sent to my email i'm going to open my email let's quickly go here and get access to the code so it is one time but uh, what i'm i'm doing i'm going to pause the video take the password and put it but i will change the password later i don't want to do that so make sure you don't use my password that's like what i trust you guys okay instead of this one we are going to put the password now we are all set all we have to do is just do a team deploy when we do a team deploy it is going to bring take all the changes you see in here deploy it to this team there is a command called team deploy now let's check it out now when it is team deploying it might throw some error but i'm going to fix it for you these are some of the changes it is all from like 73 or something the reason is because some of the changes already exist in the team so let's come here back to our store online store let's check out our team i'm going to call it um, i'm going to rename it first it should be sunrise okay cool that's it now we can preview it or publish it i will preview it i'm not going to work directly on development on live store that this is the preview mode you can even like remove this preview bar in here this is just a quick tips if you didn't know it if you come here and say preview bar is zero means to hide the preview bar and you will not see the preview bar while you are in that team and uh, to make sure like you are in the team you can come to this console also in here you can say shopify the team and it is going to give you the team name and the team id and everything you can see it is called sunrise but you don't see the preview bar which is the good part now if you go to catalog and everything should be in here if i come to the code editor back here you see we don't have any error it uploaded and updated 80 um three files now what i normally do is i'm going to do a team download to see if there is any changes i'm going to do a team download and if you do not specify where you want to download it will automatically grab the development for for here and it's going to download everything for me see it has so many files as i said i'm going to remove all of the css we don't need all of them once we are done we're going to clean up the team since we use Al like Tailwind CSS, we do need all of those CSS files before doing that, but we have to keep them. If I come to the product page, everything is looking great, except some of these uh, data, which we have to hide it. I'm going to work on this also, but in the next video, we are going to work on Ajax request. We will remove this and there are some more things to learn. So yeah, now team kit is ready after this instead uh, uh okay we have seen like all of these changes these are all from the translation you don't need to worry about this of course you can commit it there is nothing to worry the password page and everything there is nothing uh we can just commit as production sync but for now it is just the translation files next up like when we are using uh, when we are developing our team we are going to use teamkit so i hope this video has been informative and if you ever want to switch to teamkit this is how you would do Everything is working fine here and I will see you in the next video.